you want to? Uh, you, you can go first. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Trevor Mlusky. I'm the lead designer on Valorant. I'm Sal Garozo, and I'm a game designer working primarily on maps. Yeah, so we're going to talk to you guys about a bunch of gameplay in Valorant, um, some of the decisions we've made, our philosophies, and just go over a bunch of that stuff. I think Trevor pretty much covered it. <laughs> I don't know what else I could add to that. <laughs> So a lot of people are going to come from different games, different backgrounds, maybe something that's you know a lot faster and it has sprinting and wall running. Uh, we're definitely going with a slower, more methodical approach with a lot of the movement in the game. So you walk more commonly than you would you know go for a sprint. It will feel initially slow if you're not from a tactical gameplay space, but we really think these are important tuning levers that help pace the game in a way that's uh, key for what we want out of Valorant. You know, it's important to us that you can't move and shoot really accurately because we want it to be critical to you, your positioning and thinking about a fight before you get into it. Things like if you've got to a position, it really requires some sort of agent ability or utility use rather than just swinging out there and taking a 50-50 in the game, kind of coming down to luck. You have to be really methodical and intentional about your actions. But we also want those outplay moments where somebody does something incredible and they could win a 1v4 if they're aiming well enough. Um, and we think that those two things going hand in hand, you know, where positioning, ability usage, and individual mechanical skill combine to create something special. For Valorant, we wanted to find a nice mix of both uh, compelling gunplay while also injecting really cool abilities that complement one another. It's actually, it's been a really difficult balance to find that, that sweet spot between, you know, not taking away from the gunplay, but also making it feel like the agents have a place in the game and that they're valuable and that you want them on your team. One thing that has helped a lot is we have a framework for characters that we use to evaluate what type of role that they would be occupying within the game, whether it's you know, creating lots of vision blocking for their team over extended periods of time, or somebody who favors taking gunfights and being more of an entry fragger. Uh, so we have a bunch of different classifications like that. That helps us understand when we have this new cool ability idea, how can we make it work within the tactical space for roster compositions? Previously, I worked on League of Legends and did live balance, so I'm I'm pretty familiar with with that cadence and, and that strategy. Um, you know, with with the two week balance cycle, what I really like about it is you're you're available to make changes or adjust things right away when when something occurs. But for Valorant, we do want to take an approach where we're not knee jerk reacting to you know what whatever we see on a forum or whatever social platform. Um, we want to make sure that there's time for players to problem solve, use all the systems and content in the game to see if they can uh, figure out if something's truly OP or truly underpowered. But with that being said, you know we're going to find a tough balance probably here where we have to figure when it is the right time to step in and introduce a patch versus when it would be better to just let things take their course and let players solve the problem on their own. All right, and, and that's, that's our current take. Obviously, we'll feel it out as we go and see what ultimately the community wants and what makes the most sense for Valorant, and we'll adjust our cadence accordingly. And actually, that reminds me of one other thing where I feel like we want to be particularly careful are things where players start building up muscle memory in terms of how they control recoil or how projectiles fly through the air. We want to be very, very delicate, I, I guess I should say, with how we approach changing those if they need to be changed. Yeah, we definitely want to respect the knowledge that you build up over time and the muscle memory you build from playing the game for, for a lot of hours. So we'll find the balance of, you know, when we would make a change for something like that. But generally, I think that would be a more extreme case and we'd like to avoid it because we want to respect the time that you put into the game. Thanks for joining us today on this chat. We look forward to listening to all of your feedback and helping make the game better in the future as well. Thanks everyone for watching. And we'll see you in game. <laughs>